Hi, I'm Kyan. Welcome to Math in the World Around Us. The Fibonacci sequence is a really cool number pattern that appears in many different places in nature. Okay, so we all know what a sequence is, right? It's a pattern of numbers like you make when you count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. But this sequence is different. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four. Do you see a pattern? Well, look what happens when you add up the numbers like this. Zero plus one equals one. One plus one equals two. One plus two equals three. Two plus three equals five. Three plus five equals eight. Five plus eight equals. You get the idea. You get the next number by adding the two numbers that come just before it. How long do you think you can keep the sequence going? Let's ask Leonardo Pisano. Hello. Please call me Fibonacci. It's my nickname, and what my most famous sequence of numbers is called. The Fibonacci sequence. I studied this sequence 800 years ago in Italy, and it can go on and on forever. You can even draw a picture of the sequence. Outline a one by one square to start the sequence. The next number in the sequence is another one, so you outline that. Then you outline a two by two square, a three by three square, five by five, eight. Now, draw a line connecting them all, like this. You get something that winds around the center. The Fibonacci sequence forms a spiral. <laughs> Fascinating, yes. But that's not all. One of the reasons this sequence is so cool, as you say, is because it is actually just a one card of a group of spirals that get bigger in a certain way as they go out from the center. Those are called. Logarithmic spirals, and they are found all around us in the natural world. <laughs> you see, and here, and even here. <laughs> It turns out that Mother Nature loves my Fibonacci sequence. Arrivederci. And remember, math is all around us if you just know where to look. Until next time.